Alright, so moving on to the fifth and final story. Nothing is written. Join Lawrence of Arabia in his desert campaign against the Ottoman Empire. And again, there's another behemoth in this one, and it's armored train. I did actually get to use that in the in the beta, multiplayer beta, so I do know a little bit about it. Uh, but we'll see how much of an extent we actually use it in this story. So uh, let's get started. In the deserts of Arabia, an insurgency war was raging years before I got to France. Tribes of Bedouins had united to fight a war that was very different from the one we fought in the trenches. Using small mobile units, they challenged the might of an empire, and they were rallied around the ideas of a single influential warrior. Ideas of freedom and change. Hmm. So, I guess like hit and run tactics rather than like all and out war, which, you know, can be a, a hindrance. The Arabian Desert, a vast ocean of drifting sands and scorched, sun-baked rocks. Beneath these endless dunes, oil, the lifeblood of our new mechanical century. For more than 400 years, the Ottoman Empire has ruled these lands, controlling all that's to be found here. But the Ottomans do not rule unopposed. Small bands of Bedouin rebels have united to overthrow the empire. They strike without warning and then vanish into the desert. Fighting alongside them is a lone British officer whose exploits have earned him wide renown. The world has taken to calling this man Lawrence of Arabia. In the desert, you rely on good planning, but you also hope for a dash of luck. And luck was with us when we learned of a recently derailed Ottoman train carrying a most interesting piece of cargo. All right, so T. Lawrence, quite a famous writer. Uh, Lawrence of Arabia is a quite famous film. You might have heard of it, you might have seen it. I think it's quite long, if I remember correctly. It's been a while since I watched it though, to be fair. Uh, and also, what's going to say? Um, so actually, I'm, I'm watching a TV series, on a, a short like drama series called uh, Tutankhamun. And it's basically uh, the finding of Tutankhamun's, uh, you know, burial site, uh, his burial chamber. Uh, so that's quite interesting. And obviously that was set during, well, I mean, obviously it took place, uh, I think, just after the war. Uh, so, yeah, nice little tie in now I'm playing, you know, in the same sort of it. Uh, well, Egypt's next door, as you saw on the map. But anyway, I digress. Let's carry on with this uh, spotting. A small patrol had joined the Ottomans who survived the crash. Together, they guarded the wreckage and waited for reinforcements. So, I'm guessing I'm going to have to go down and infiltrate. And by infiltrate, I mean kill everyone. <laughs> and steal whatever it is they're protecting. When your enemy has better weapons and better equipment than you, steal from your enemy. <laughs> Smart. What's that? Is that a turret? I haven't yet figured out what the symbols mean, so... Okay. Oh wait, there's a guy there.
We strive to do what we think is right, and push through those who would stop us from achieving this, no matter the cost. It's <laughs> a bit of a random trophy. Probably spiting enemies or something. It's a silver though, so... Yeah, as I said, infiltration mission. A lone fighter has just one advantage over a large enemy force. A lone fighter can move unseen. Can't believe all I've got is a bloody knife. Just got a feeling I've missed someone. It's bound to be someone sitting in the shade somewhere. Just chilling. Oh yeah, start moving when I come down, pal. Hold on, let me scratch that neck for you. Sorry, the tribesmen fought unconventionally, using weapons they knew well. Endurance, individual intelligence, and courage were their primary assets. Sorry pal, my, my accuracy is not very good. I haven't played for a few days, so uh, that's why I missed. But at least it's not itchy anymore. There's a world of difference between seeing something and having it in your own two hands. Also, why is it whenever you pick up an enemy weapon, doesn't matter what game it is, Call of Duty, Battlefield, etc., the weapon is always, like, half full? Like, I mean, the, the clip. What kind of soldier walks around with half a mag in their weapon? And will this guy please turn around so I can stab him in the back? Oh, check out the scenery. Shit. Oh crap. I need to go faster. Crawl faster. Crawl faster. Crawl faster. I'm spotted. I'm spotted. I'm spotted. Alright. Guess he's going loud then. Shit. Uh, should I ride the horse? Yes or no? It is the turret. It's manning it. Okay. I think I've spotted everyone. So I should see them approaching. Alright, they're trying to pinch. Shit. Oh, convenient. Shit, no, bad idea. Oh, mortar, mortar, mortar! Crap! That's what that symbol is. Shit. If I stay in one position too long, he'll zero my position and then I'm dead, man. Incoming. Told ya. Shit. I need a weapon, I need a weapon. To be honest, I wanted to handle this mission stealthily, so I'll probably I'm not too fussed about trying it again. The guy with the, with the horse, and then kill the other guy. Yeah, I kind of wanted to do it stealthily anyway, so it's not a big deal. A small patrol had joined the Ottomans who survived the crash. Together, they guarded the wreckage and waited for reinforcements. If it does fail, I'll just go loud after, but it's not. Shouldn't be too bad. I mean, out of the... Everyone heard I was, I was there, but only one of them. Not two a of them. A lone fighter has just one advantage over a large enemy force. A lone fighter can move unseen. So why is that guy looking at that direction and then as soon as I finish killing this guy, he turns around? Oh, 
The Still working on accuracy. Unconventionally, using weapons they knew well. Endurance, yep. individual intelligence, and courage were their primary assets. And now he's facing me, man. Why is that? Okay, that's good. Stay facing that way. Interesting. See, why are some characters highlighted, or just the one, when no one else is? My word, that was close. Talking to the horse. What the hell was that? I just wanted to knife him and I did a charge melee. Didn't even hit the guy and he died. Stupid. Alright, well. So much for that idea. The hell? Good job we didn't fire a shot then. The AI in this game is so bad. Ruins the experience without a doubt. Ooh. Suppressor on an LMG. The hell? 97 rounds? What a weird number. Oh sh Oh crap. I'm in a really bad position. I'm gonna flank these dudes. Almost perfect. We had to turn around last minute, didn't we? It's definitely not suppressed. It's just me and that one dude. I think the other guy's staying next to the mortar. What the hell, man? Do you, you see what I mean? I don't understand. The AI in this game is so bad, it's unreal. We're in the middle of a firefight, it runs away and it resets. What is that? Nah, I'll stick with the rifle. what this thing can do. Damn it. <laughs> I 
That's one way of doing it. Two birds, one stone. Alright, stay here. Oh my word. It's just laughable, this game so far. Oh dear. Such a... think we would be fast enough to catch you here, did you? Lawrence of Arabia. Actually, I was rather depending on it. Eh, Lawrence? Ah. Well, this is very clever. Now the hunter becomes the hunted. So who might you be? How enchanting you are, my dear. <laughs> Achmed. I'll show you enchanting. If it weren't for you, I'd be free. Free, is it? You'll be free when you're dead. And I'm happy to tell you, the Empire intends to grant you all this freedom very soon. Even now, an engine of destruction scours this desert, obliterating your allies. Your families, your homes. Soon there will be nowhere to run. Nowhere to hide. Soon all that you know, and all that you love, will be ashes. You will all be free to die. <coughs> oh. <coughs> oh, you animal! Zara. Understand that you would like nothing more than to strip the flesh from that man's feet and send him off into the desert naked to die. But think about it. You're right. I'm sorry. My friend here, she can be a little brusque. You're going to tell me how to lie to your train so we can lure it into a trap and destroy it. Impossible. To even begin to talk to that train, you would need an entire book of communication codes. Oh, like this one, you mean? You can never stop the progress of machines! One day, the whole world will take your lands and the precious black gold beneath its sands! We shall see, my friend. 